court. All hail the king's court. <laughs> Which is what I imagine my theme song will sound like. You know, then you add my piano. Yeah, yeah, or something like that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to yet an yet another exciting episode, entertaining, exhilarating episode of the King's Court with your boy. Well, well. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, man. Uh, so today, you know, change of locations. Um, my usual studio is being renovated. By renovated, I mean that, um, yeah, uh, we were washing the sheets today in my house. So, like, my mess is, my room is a mess. And I'm not that messy, you know. I'm quite a clean person. So, yeah. But nothing has changed. The tie is here. Ladies, the tie is here. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, ladies, the tie is here. <laughs> so today in this episode, as you can see below, it's called Get to Know Me. So today I'm going to be answering a few questions that you guys posed for me, you know, that you guys would like me to answer. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So the first question goes, what makes Willy Lee? Willy? What makes Willy Le Willy? Okay, so what makes Willy Le Willy Le is the fact that Willy Le is doesn't fit in any way, you know. He's a he's what you might call a misfit, you know. I don't try and fit in any way. I always I don't try and pretend to be someone else. I'm always me, you know. What you get is what you see with me you know like you won't find me like pretending like yeah like pretending to be cool stuff like nah nah g all this craziness is what you get yes that's why whoever made me ah you made all this craziness <laughs> all these shenanigans yeah but my, what makes really really is the fact that really really surrounds himself with people that accept him for who he is you know as I, I i constantly try and surround myself with people who are who will accept me for who i am and i was fortunate enough when i got to uj you know i met a group of people who are as crazy as crazy if not crazier than me you know and so yeah and we ended up forming the wolf pack yeah, it's a long story. Here, yeah, I'll tell you guys something. Yeah. So the second question is, what age do you plan on getting married? Um, uh, my preferred age of getting married would be twenty nine thirty, simply because right now I am. I feel like that's that's the time where I'll be ready. You know, because right now um, firstly I just want to make a name for myself in the industry. You know. And secondly, I think I would have, I would have found that ideal person, you know, that I want to get married to, you know, because it's easy to say that I want to get married when I turn 25 or 26, 27, 28, whatever age. But who are you going to get married to? So it's enjoying now. Hey, 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 I'm going to 25. <laughs> who are you going to get married to? So it's important that when you set this age at what you want to get married at, you set it with the mindset you will see, I would have found that person, or you already have that person, you know, you already have that person in mind, maybe you're already dating that person, you're like, yeah, I want to go, yeah, and as long as you're dating, very much, like, ring, <laughs> I'm gonna put a ring, put a ring on it, put it, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a ring on it, <laughs> So yeah, my ideal age for getting married is about twenty nine, thirty around the Yeah. Yeah, but basically when the time is right. When the time is right, I'll get married. And uh, question number three it goes like what's the best thing that has happened to you so far? Wow. There've been so many things that have happened to me. Um I graduated from U I graduated um, I became an uncle. I, I have a 
I've sat on, I've sat with some of the big shots in this country, you know, I've rubbed shoulders, sorry, I've rubbed shoulders with some of the big shots in this country, you know, I've been to places where, I've, where I never thought I would ever go to, you know, but the best thing that has ever happened would be becoming an uncle, you know, because it's taught me so much, you know, it's taught me so much on how to, how to look after children, you know, it's taught me responsibility, it's taught me how to love all over again. So yeah, I'd, I'd have to say becoming an uncle has been the best thing to happen to me. Question number four is, what is one thing you wished people knew about you? Uh, <laughs> well, I wish people knew that um, when I go, when I go silent, you know, you know, you'd find that there's a group of us and everyone, yeah, it's talking, it's talking, talking, and I go silent. It's not because there's something wrong or stuff like that. It's some, sometimes it's because I feel like I have nothing to contribute to that conversation. And sometimes it's best that you just mm, you just listen to people. If they're laughing, you laugh now. If it's fine, if it's fine, I won't. But you don't, I don't necessarily want to put myself in a position whereby I start talking and only to find out that my opinion starts angering, angering someone else or offend someone. So I, I decided, you know what, I'm going to take a back seat and I'm going to listen to everyone speak. And yeah, yeah, yeah I got an emoji. Ah, uh, Valley. <laughs> hey, we're cutting that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what was your dream job as a kid? Woo, wow. Uh, growing up, yo, I had so many dreams of what I wanted to be. Hey, eh? um, at one point, I wanted to be an FBI agent because you know I was so fascinated with the with these um with these movies. You know, with these movies whereby um, the, the it's FB, spies and everything, I was fascinated with those. You know, I was fascinated with the shooting of people. You know, jumping, doing somersaults, that jumping from a plane, parachute. Yeah, so that was one of my dreams. And then as I grew older, I started being fascinated with soccer. You know, I was soccer crazy. You know, so I wanted to be a soccer player. But then when I told my dad that I wanted to be a soccer player <laughs> his response was that okay uh, since now you know English my son why don't you drop out of school and go and play soccer because you know English now but you know as I progressed you know I started finding out that I wasn't that I wasn't really that good at soccer you know I was terrible yo I was terrible, yo. I was just fortunate enough that I was always picked, you know, because of my height and people told like, oh, no, no, yeah. yeah it turns out they was terrible, yeah. Terrible, terrible, capital T. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> the funniest moment throughout high school, yo, wow. Um, there were so many funny moments. Um, I remember this one time I got kicked out of class. <laughs> I got kicked out of class because, you know, I was a class clown, you know, yeah, making people laugh. Yeah, yeah, ka, 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 everyone was laughing. Yeah, I got kicked out of class. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was the funniest moment, you know, it was the funniest moment, um, getting kicked out of class. Not once, multiple times, not one, multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Question number, yeah, the next question. What would you say about your life right now? Um, before lockdown or after lockdown? Because before lockdown, I, my life was great. My life was great. You know? Even during lockdown, it's still great. So I would have to say my life is, is great. You know, I'm surrounded by family. I'm surrounded by all this love, you know, all this, all this love, support, you know believe in my dreams you know um chasing my dreams you know so yeah i'm surrounded by love and support from my family from my friends you know so my life is it's perfect 
It's perfect. Yeah. Uh, favorite memory from childhood. Uh, <laughs> those of you, people who know me know that growing up, you know, I was a naughty child. Yo, 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 yo. I told you guys most during that introduction video, you could see I once stole a Russian. I threw rocks on my aunt's neighbor's house and I lied. Yo, I lied. I was a gay. I didn't do I didn't do it. Yo, yo, yo. I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, so, but one of my favorite memories from my childhood was was how happy I was, you know. How happy I was when I was outside. I was a happy child. Yeah, it was my favorite memory. It was the time when I when I got into a motorcycle accident. Not not a real motorcycle. You know those plastic ones. Yeah. So your boy, your boy was playing around, and I was being pushed by this older kid, and I think he pushed me, and I fell. So when I fell, I hit with my face, and Teeth, my teeth starting from here all the way <laughs> fell out it's either they fell out or they were swallowed so up until today no one really knows what happened to those teeth I don't know what happened to those teeth my mom doesn't know what happened to those teeth the helper okay the helper was the only one who would know but yeah, I don't know if she would remember what happened to those. But I mean, I suspect that someone stole them. So, if you are one of those people who were there when my teeth fell out, please come forward and say that, okay, well, Lila, I took your teeth and I put them under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Because back then we were crazy about the tooth fairy, Santa Claus, yo, oh, tooth fairy. So I think someone took my teeth and put them in their shoe or under the pillow. So if you are out there, please, I know you don't have my teeth anymore, <laughs> but it would give me some closure to know what happened to my teeth. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite memories because I, I don't remember what happened. Our uh, next question says, when you say a woman is beautiful, what do you really mean? Yeah, when I say a woman is beautiful, what do I really mean? Well, <laughs> okay, this is a tough one, yo. I feel like I'm in an exam right now. What What do I mean? What I mean is that she's, on the outside, she's beautiful. Her soul is beautiful. Everything about her is beautiful. Her character, her personality, okay, character and personality are the same thing. Most. Yeah, her personality is beautiful. Her soul is beautiful. Her heart is beautiful. Her physically, is, she's beautiful. So that's what I mean. I mean that all around, you know, all around her personality, physical features, she's beautiful, you know. So, yeah, that's what I mean when I say a woman is beautiful. And uh, well, how long was your longest relationship? Yeah, hey. Cholo is tough, man. Cholo is tough, eh? Longest, yo. <laughs> Longest, yo. Um, skip question. Yeah, let's skip this question. Yeah, we'll answer it one day. We'll answer it one day, eh? One day. One day when we have time, we'll answer it. Not today. Not today. Um, next question. Uh, describe your first crush. Describe my first crush. Yo. I don't know, but in my current, my first crush, yo, 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 um, so I don't know, I don't know how to describe my first crush. She was short, <laughs> short, beautiful. She had a great smile, mm, great personality. It's a shame that she didn't feel the same way I felt about her. She didn't. She wasn't crushing on me the same way I was crushing on her, you know. But yeah, that's a story, eh? That's a that's a that story is coming. Hey, eh? stay tuned. Yes, that story is coming about that crush. 
Um, hmm, I think I've answered all those questions now. Um, am I missing any? Hmm. Uh, no, I think I've answered all of them. I think I've answered all these questions. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the questions. Uh,